Onivia. League of Legends highlights, powered by ArcaneBet.com. Bet live on esports. No one that really wants to answer those waves solo. And if you lock in the rise, you send it to the side lane, you pair that up with a Nocturne who can back you up and look for those 2v1 kills. Let's try, I guess, but they're actually going to try to go for the fight here. Realm Warp will put him in front of GBM, but that could be a Shockwave ultimate to keep Candy in place. Damage down to Stone Mage. Dragon's going to come up as he is angry about the fight and is dead. And here's the Orn Horn. Blast code over. Oh, what a shot by PK. Eagle Eye Orn Horn coming through. For those aggressive all ins. No ward over the pit just yet. It looks like that will easily go down. A little bit of movement speed. Culling is getting low. Culling coming out. That could be another reason for G-Rex to fight. Stiffs uses the heal. Sight now, now forward a little bit. Also uses his heal to get away. And here comes the Orn Horn through one member. They get Sight not even on the flash. Dustbringer doesn't make it, but Candy does. And he picks up his first kill of the game. G-Rex now three and zero. Yeah. Oh, they try to throw down Paranoia, and it will be successful in taking down Zeitnot. They won't be able to get Snowflower, though. Stone Mage coming around from the side, almost grabbed Koala in a solo warding situation. But here comes GDM4 on that horn for PK. Koala a little too close for comfort. The calling almost killing him, but it's going to be the Ignite from Snowflower to come through his Stitch, trying to be that body blocker. Rift Herald picked up by Super Massive, and they're going to have a bit scary. Nocturne ultimate already onto GBM in the mid lane. They are able to take him down immediately. He doesn't go anywhere. Empty is actually very low. Black Shield on. Here comes Fat Fabulous with the bar lane. Absolutely decimates him as the Orn Horn comes through. Shield your eyes from the ornographic material. Stone Mage is going to be going down. Fat Fabulous may be next as they try to turn the fight. And Sight Knot is just a little too late for the party. Yeah, the re engage there was so good. Really good in essentially this final game. They, they find any fight. And Sandy just on the end. Orn Horn is about to come off a cooldown. PK could use it. Fires up the horn and he slams down the mallet. In goes F empty and he tries to get the kill, but he could fall empty, stays alive. They've got Stomates on the run now. As Sight not a fat fabulous try to run down mid lane. GBM's already been wiped out of the fight. There's the grab on the Stomates. Oh, he puts himself back into the frying pan and he's cooked up with the rest of the team. Yeah, Stomates goes down. So does his hardest to get in here. Dark Binding is nice, but Snowflower still wants to crowd control the team. He has his quickness. He can get in and charm them up and at least deter the fight. Zeitnot trying to put damage onto PK. Gets hit by the Dark Binding. Koala is hitting true, but he's out of mana now. He can't offer too much. There. Well, 1,700 on the Baron. Fat Fabulous is low. That's going to be a smite for empty, and they do grab Baron. The rise the out! Koala's left out to dry, but that's all right for G-Rex. So well done there by G-Rex, buying so much time, escaping with our power, power play. Oh my god, Fat Fabulous could go down, use a stopwatch. It's gonna be a wanted in from Snowflower, and here comes Empty for the Paranoia. Orn Horn going all the way through the fight as PK cannot get it back in for the knockup, but it's not gonna deter them from going under the turret. They do get Sight knocked down immediately. Fat Fabulous doing what he can to stop the rest of the fight, but the turret is in the eyes of G-Rex now as PK goes forward with a double searing charge knockup a GBM and Snowflower. Snowflower with the ability to go back to Rex. Everybody's had their hand in the pie. Everyone's participating. And Zeitnot is getting a little hyphy as they want to solidify some kills. They Come say in. G Rex has taken too much. Airborne knocked up, knocked down is Koala as he gets a taste of his own medicine. Candy and PK from the other side now. Empty puts himself in the frying pan. No, he's going to go down to the GA. Zeitnot's on the right side of the fight. Eyes onto him as he tries to deliver in the Lucian damage. A great kill onto Empty coming in from GBM. And Stitch is looking for his targets. Not even afraid of a 2v1. Fat Fabulous falls into Scion death form and Stitch able to push the rest of the members of Supermassive out. Down goes Snowflower. And this could do it. We'll see. They're, they're actually not even going to try to push the base. They won't. Nope. They're just taking an inhibitor and wow, I'm actually really surprised they're not even going to try to go straight for those inhibitors. At the very least, they will take the use a bit of that the rim. It looks disgusting, Azale. A clinic here from G-Rex if they can win the fight, but it is going to be Candy shut down first. Fat Fabulous trying to deny PK, trying to deny Stitch. Koala, 200 HP from going down, and it looks like Super Massive has turned the tide of the fight. PK is going to go down, and G-Rex is looking sore on this one. Super Massive against the odds that kite out the fight. Such good positioning. Such in on this one, and he can't get Fat, fat Fabulous can't get there. 
Teleports down for him. Ornhorn comes out. They got two into the choke point on the bot side of jungle. But here comes the rest of Supermassive on the back side. A nice hit up by PK in the searing charge. And a very much resurrecting Zeitnot trying to stay alive as he gets himself back up. Relentless to pursue the safety as PK will now take down Snowflower. And this could be it as they have a fight on two fronts. They're that TPing Super in the base. Could not handle. That's going to be Stone Age going down. G Rex looking great inside the base of Supermassive. Unstoppable as he gets into the base. Fat Fabulous stays alive as he can give one last ounce of breath with Sight Knot to defend the Nexus. G Rex looking to move on to the main stage. 18 to 8 in one of the bloodiest series we've had as teams Might try to make it. Fabulous low, but it is GRX, Stitch, Koala, and PK to put the finishing touches on the game. They know they've got it. They're padding the stats. G-Rex has to feel fantastic in their first ever appearance at Worlds. They're going to be making it to the main stage. Supermassive doing everything they can to stop them, but it'll never be enough. G-Rex is moving on. And what a series from the LMS third seat, three to one, battling back in multiple games, getting stronger and stronger throughout the showing, throughout the day. They really did earn it here, and Stitch has put on such an incredible performance throughout the group stage, throughout the knockout stage here today against Zynot and Snowflower. And what a lane that was to watch. I cannot wait for what the rest of the world has for us. Hot damn! <laughs> We're just getting awesome started, Rim. Awesome game so far. What a series. Supermassive almost, almost pushing it to five. But the team on your screen, G-Rex, will be making it to the main stage.